What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here and welcome to another Q&A! And just a reminder, you're still allowed to ask personal stuff. I'm just reminding you because the questions have gotten very, very soft and casual and generic lately. Come on, ask some juicy goodies and I'll answer. Ugh. Anyways, let's begin. Just another Vader fan asks, Will Star Wars ever appear in universes? Sure, just as soon as I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I've never seen it. I've just never cared to watch it. Just because it's a timeless classic doesn't mean that I'll like it and should watch it because a Back to the Future was really overhyped and I was very disappointed when I finally watched that movie because it was nothing more than haha, it's funny because his mom thinks he's cute even though it's his mom. Whoa, 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 wacky bad sitcom adventures. Whoa, Back to the Future is bad sitcom the movie. Yeah, I said it. It's not good. Question number two, what kind of character would I like to voice in Paladins? Um, I don't think they have a German character yet, so I'd like to play a German character. Like, like a Bratwurst, like a mutant Bratwurst that's the size of a T-Rex and he rolls on people in a hot dog bun. So yeah, giant German Godzilla Bratwurst. Make it happen, hi res And question number three, do I keep in contact with Harutsun X? Um, I feel really bad saying this, but not really that often. There's no bad blood or anything, don't worry. I just get really anxious talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. It's not just him, it's pretty much everyone. I have to really get to know that person first. But while I'm talking about him, might as well give him a shout out. Everyone go check out Harutsun X. He's a really good voice actor. He played Hira in fictional fights, and he's also the voice of Marth in the Smash Brothers machinima called Roy's Our Boy. You should really check that out. That one's good. Raiden Martinez asks, How strong do I think Infinite from Sonic Forces will be? Um, I honestly don't think he'll be that strong. I don't think he'll be any tougher than anything Sonic has faced before, because all we know about him is that he's faster than Sonic. Uh, but you know, people will try and scale him to infinite speed. <laughs> even though Infinite is confirmed to be faster. But anyways, I don't think Infinite's going to reach some insane power level though. Just because he's named Infinite is automatically giving the fanboys the impression that he'll have infinite power. And oh boy, I'm scared of that time because they're gonna be all over the place. His name is Infinite, therefore he is infinite. Gah. I'm scared. Brayden Leduc DOD asks, have I ever thought of a matchup that was so stupid it was actually good? Um, yeah, the Spongebob matchup I came up with, that's not Spongebob versus Pinkie Pie. The Spongebob matchup I came up with is extremely stupid, but extremely good, and I can't wait until I'm finally done researching it so I can make the episode for you guys because it's it's going to be one of the best episodes, I can, I can already tell you. People on the Discord know what it is, so if you really want to know, just go to my Discord. Link in the description below. Question number two, what is my least favorite anything? Um... Back to the Future is my least favorite overhyped classic movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on that. It's not good. Question number three. If I could have a secret superhero identity, what would my stats, powers, and weapons be? Um, I'd actually want to be uh, a parody character, a parody superhero character, because that way I could be ridiculously overpowered without being labeled as a Mary Sue. That's how, that's how um, parody characters work, right? Yeah! Pink Anime Gengar asks, What is my favorite male My Hero Academia character? Oh man, you're banning me from my waifus, come on man! Or girl, whatever you are. Um, <laughs> but my favorite male character is probably Bakugo, because he's not the stereotypical edgy Sasuke type rival. He's more of the Gar he gives me more of a Gary Oak vibe. We need more Gary Oak rivals, not edgy snobs. If I were in a shonen anime, which world would I want to be in? Naruto, because all the jutsus are cool and I want to eat ramen and... Uh, that, that's it. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a bit worn out of the which world would you like to be in questions. I, I don't even know how many I've answered so far. Question number three. What is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character or card? Um, the only Yu-Gi-Oh I've really seen is 5Ds. And even then, it was all a blur as a child. The only thing I can remember is the theme song, because I- or the intro, the opening, because I really liked it. But I don't remember anything about any of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Cool Cube says he preferred fictional fights to death battle when it came out, and he wonders what my take is on that. My take on that is, why? 
Fictional fights was not good. <laughs> yeah, there were a few gems like Jin versus Ryu, Aang versus Poe, Akuma versus Ganondorf, but oh man, the rest of them. Steven versus Dipper, Danny versus Jake, Saitama versus Goku. Oh boy. Question number two. Will there ever be a return to fictional fights? Nope, 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 no. And question number three. How does it feel to be on Battle Royale with Crossover X as facts? It feels... So much better than fictional fights. Wow, this is just the, this is just the disc, the disc fiction, disc, disc fictional fights question. Dominic Stevens asks if a character that was in universes gets upgraded in their own series, will they ever remake an episode or redo one? Um, the answer to that one is a no. Um, if there's ever something that changes the outcome, I'll probably just do a universes mini. On it. I won't be remaking or redoing any episodes because of an upgrade because one, uh, people will obviously know the answer, and two, no one wants to see the same fight again, anyways. Question number two Would I ever do a mirror match like GT Goku versus Super Goku? Um, probably not because, I don't know, with mirror matches, the reason characters are separated into different things in the first place is because they're at different levels of power like Archie Sonic and Game Sonic. Um, why on earth would there be a mirror match there? We all know Archie Sonic completely obliterates Game Sonic. So there wouldn't really be a point to a mirror match if- because it would be way too obvious. Question number three. Would I rather be a ninja from Naruto or a Devil Gene user from Tekken? Um, as much as I like Tekken, I'm gonna have to go with Naruto because the jutsus and stuff are just way more cool and creative, what you can do with them. And yep, and plus, a, t a Tekken. Why would I side with the devil and have the devil gene anyways? I'm a Christian. It's dumb. Eloy Rodriguez asks, what color are my eyes? They're blue. No, I'm not. I am albino, but I'm not like the the, the most albino-y albino where my eyes are pink and stuff and red because that's actually not red. It's the blood because you have no pigment in your eyes, so you just see the blood instead of a color of an iris. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? It's... Ooh, um, but yeah, I have blue eyes. Question number two. What do I think facts from Battle Royale would look like? Um, he'd probably be, I don't know, I always picture him in my head as some sort of Genji looking robot, but his color scheme is bl is like blue and silver instead of green and silver. And instead of that one little visor looking thing, he has like two giant computer screen eyes that can just display cool stuff. And he also has... Um, he'd have wings too. Why? I don't know why, he'd just have wings. But they're like, made out of giant tubey wires, so he just flies by flapping his wires. I don't know. It's weird. I have- I have a weird imagination. And question number three. What will I do when Universes ends? Um, I don't think I ever want to put Universes to an end, per se. I mean, there are times where I know I'm gonna want to take another break. Like, even a long break. But I never want to just stop it entirely. I always want it to come back to it, so I'll never officially cancel it. Like, even if I take a two-year-long break from making universes, I'm never ever going to declare it officially canceled because I will eventually go back to making it, even if I stop doing it for years. So, I don't know if I'm ever going to end it, but if I ever do take a break, it'll most likely be to work on something else big, like maybe if I wanted to actually work hard on starting a Smash Brothers Machinima, because I remember a while ago, uh, there was one I wanted to start called Free to Smash, but, um, I didn't really try hard enough to get the voice actors, like, um, yeah, it was partially because I didn't get enough voice actors, but that was mainly my fault because I didn't go out looking harder. I just sort of posted something on Casting Call Club, promoted it once, never talked about it again, barely checked it or kept up with the actors, and... Yeah, it was just a hassle, and I never- I didn't really try with it, but if I ever put a long halt to universes, it would probably be to start something up like that again and take it more seriously. Autistic Cyberman asks, who is my favorite Mortal Kombat character besides Ermac? Um, probably Scorpion? I know, I know it's generic. I just- I just really like all the ninja guys. Ninjas are cool. And I like all the Mortal Kombat ninja guys, like Ermac, Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero, and then Reptile's also ninja, he's green. Um, 
So I, I just like all the ninja looking guys and ninja clones for some reason. Kind of like how my favorite Street Fighter characters are. Ken, Ryu, and Akuma. They're all the um, Ansatsuken clones, but they're... I, they're all my favorites. I, I have issues with liking clone characters. I guess because they just play the same, and I'm more comfortable with using them. I mean, obviously, Ermac and Scorpion and Sub-Zero obviously don't play the same, but they're all ninjas. So, yeah. Question number two. Which character in both the universes and fictional fights was the most fun to research? Um, in fictional fights, it had to be Buzz Lightyear just because of all the crazy stuff I discovered about him. And for universes, it would have to be the characters of that 70s show because I just... I just really liked the show that much, and I enjoyed watching it over again. <laughs> and plus, it's such a ridiculous battle. So, it was just really fun to take something so dumb so seriously. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the 70s characters and Buzz Lightyear. And question number three. Do I plan on using Segata Sanchiro? Believe it or not, yes! Penguin Party 119 asks, What's my favorite South Park episode? Oh, there's so many! Uh, lots of the Butters ones are really good, though. Like, um... The tap dancing one, and I also like the one where Kenny actually dies for like a whole season, which is actually called Kenny Dies. Um, that one's also really good. Question number two, who is my least favorite South Park character? Um, that would be Gerald, Gerald Broflowski. I forgot his last name for a second there. I mean, he actually used to be one of my favorites, but what they did with him in season 20 with the whole trolling thing, oh man, that was so bad. That was so bad. That was my least favorite season of South Park. It ruined a perfectly fine character for me. And oh my gosh, what did they do? What were they thinking? And question number three, what's my opinion on the YouTube channel SMG4? I don't know them, no opinion. Pineapple Guy Carmine asks, which characters do I get the most requests for, but have no idea who they are? Um, that's actually kind of hard to answer because since I don't know who they are, I can't remember their names, so I can't remember which ones have been requested the most. But I do get lots of generic looking anime characters that I've never even heard of. And then whenever I say that I, that I don't know the character, they're like, What? You don't know this character? Question number two. Did I cry during Papa Heihachi's exit from the Tekken series? You know what? I'm going to be a man and tell the truth. Yes, I actually did. Shut up. Question number three. Have I ever heard of the infamous game series? Actually, yes, I'm actually pretty interested in it, actually. I just gotta get my hands on the game and look into it more. Because I don't wanna... It's like one of those games where I, I wanna research it by actually playing it instead of looking at Let's Plays and walkthroughs and stuff like I did with Donkey Kong Country. I wanna actually play Infamous. Crimson asks, who is my favorite Samurai Jack character? It's a tie between Aku and the Scotsman. And I think the same goes for pretty much almost every other Samurai Jack fan, because those guys are hysterical! Question number two, am I a fan of SCP? I have no clue, I mean, I I think I accidentally came across like a top 10 list of like the best SCPs or what whatever. I, I came into it very weird. I found this top 10 list and they all sounded really cool, but I still have no idea what SCP actually is or what it's even from or where it's for or... What is SCP? I don't know. <laughs> and question number three. Do I think SpongeBob is downplayed on Versus Battles Wiki? Um, not really, because he is the... He's very, very small, so... Even if he destroys all of Bikini Bottom or something, that would also be very, very small. Because it's a tiny city, and he's a tiny little sponge, and... Yeah, it's... He, he's not human-sized, so... Yeah, they don't downplay him in my opinion. That was a really weird question to end this Q&A on, but pfft, bye.